Your Excellency, sir, with your permission, I'll request to remain standing and all of us remain standing as I now call two people who are going to lead us in a word of prayer. I'm going to invite Sheikh Ibrahim Lethome and Esther Karegi who are going to come and lead us in a word of prayer. So kindly, if we can allow them to uh, just come and lead us in a word of prayer, then we shall continue from there. Karibuni. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the peace and blessings of God be with us all. This morning, as we stand before God in prayer, I would want us to be inspired by the word of God from the Holy Quran, chapter 26, verse 61 and 62, where God says, And when the two hosts saw each other, the companions of Musa, that is Moses, said, We are sure to be overtaken. But Musa responded by saying, Nay, indeed, my Lord is with me, and he will guide me through. Uh, let us pray. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of God, most merciful, most gracious. We thank you, O Lord, for the gift of life. We thank you for the gift of good health. And we thank you for the gift of this beautiful country, Kenya. Ya Allah, we thank you for the rains that have just started. May the rains be a blessing to us and not a curse. Ya Allah, we have gathered here for a purpose. May we achieve through your blessings the objectives of this gathering. O oh God, we know that as human beings, we have our limitations. You are the almighty and limitless. God, we are doing the little that we can as human beings, just as your servant Moses did the little that he could by lifting a stick and hitting the water, trusting in you, you, del you delivered him through. We are simply tying our camel here and then turning to you to take care of it. Our camel is this beautiful country, Kenya. Indeed, you are with us, and we trust that you will see us through. Lord, pension schemes are about planning for the future. Yet as human beings, we know that the future is in your knowledge and in your hands. We ask you to bless our human plans as we plan for that unknown future. Bless our little human efforts with success. Oh God, bless our leaders so that they continue being guided by the wisdom that ultimately comes from you. Give them ikhlas, that is sincerity, and taqwa, piety, as they carry out their duties. Ya Rahim, our merciful God, help us resolve any problems that may be facing us as a country in an amicable way as a family. Ya Allah, help us talk to one another as Kenyans and not talking at each other. Let us not with our own hands lead ourselves into destruction. Bless our leaders and all the decision makers in this country so that we can bequeath to the future generation a country where the pensioners can enjoy their, the fruits of their sweat in their twilight days happily and peacefully and where the children of this country will remember us with pride ya allah we as a country have our values and religious uh, both religious and cultural god protect us from values that are alien to this country values that will only earn your wrath god forgive us where we have wronged you as the muslims usher in the holy month of ramadan we beseech you to accept our prayers and our fasting. May those who will be fasting pray for the peace and prosperity of our beloved country. Give us what is good in this world and what is good in the hereafter. We pray for the quick recovery of those who are sick. Have mercy for those who have passed on and give comfort to those who have lost their loved ones. God, 
Don't let any Kenyan die of hunger, for you are the sustainer. We are proud of our diversity, both racial, ethnic, religious, and cultural. Help us coexist in peace and harmony. May your peace and bless, uh, blessings be upon your messengers, Muhammad, and all the messengers before him. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Amin. Let's believe and pray. Our Father and our Lord, we thank you for gathering us in this place. We thank you for His Excellency the President, together with His leadership that is present with us. We thank you for every industry leader that is gathered in this place. We thank you for every person that is in this place. We specifically pray for the President, for wisdom and courage to do that which you guide him to do. O oh Lord, our God, we celebrate this milestone that you have given us, this day that we celebrate this new unveiling of an irate in the pension industry. As we commit this day and this ceremony to you, we invite your guidance and your leadership as we mark a great beginning for this noble initiative. Give us wisdom to make profit. Give us courage to do exploits like the one we celebrate today. Give us the right strategies to get the job done so that we can be a blessing to many. Father, we ask you for a peaceful environment in our country so that in all that we do, we may prosper and that plenty will be found within our borders. May all glory and honor be unto you, our Father, and our God, as we accomplish that which you have led us into today. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. We may now take our seats. Your Excellency, the President of Kenya, the Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces, the CS Treasury and Economic Planning, Honorable Professor Njugunandungu, the CS Housing and Urban Development, Honorable Zakaria Njeru, all CSs present, all Principal Secretaries present, the Chairman, NSC, Mr. Kiprono Kitoni, CEO, NSC, Geoffrey Odundo, the Managing Director and CEO CPF, Mr. Jose Akili, Ibuka Companies represented, Chairman and CEOs of all trading uh, participants, distinguished guests, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. Your Excellency, sir, with your permission, at this point, I would like to invite the Chair for NSE, Mr. Kiprono Kitoni, to give a few remarks. Welcome, Mr. Kiprono. Tumpigia Makofi. Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya and the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, Cabinet Secretaries here present, industry leaders, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the NSC and on behalf of the entire capital market ecosystem, CDSC, um, CASIB, our regulator, Capital Markets Authority, we wish to extend a very warm welcome to all of you this morning for this uh, historic Lab Trust Imara IRIT being launched at the NSC. I also want to acknowledge the presence of visitors from both Regional de Valu Mobile, BRVM, led by the Chief Executive, who is also the former president of the African Society Stock Exchange Association. Maybe they could be upstanding so we can wave at, at, the, at His Excellency. Your Excellency, these are guests from West Africa coming here today to witness this occasion. Today's bell ringing comes less than six months since your last visit here, Your Excellency, where you challenged both the private and public sector companies to revitalize the capital markets through embarking on an aggressive listing strategy for both private and public firms. Today's listing is a testament of the market's response to your urgent directive and a testament of the trend we should expect in Kenya's capital markets over the next few months. Your Excellency, every time you come to the market, something good seems to happen. Yesterday, the NSC recorded the single largest trade of 22 billion, and we wish to thank SBG Securities, and in particular, Gregory Waweru, for that great feat. The Kenya Kwanzaa administration has demonstrated its commitment 
to, the, to prioritize economic reforms aimed at supporting medium to long-term economic growth, reducing fiscal vulnerabilities and enhancing the level of savings in our country. As you have right, rightfully pronounced on various platforms, local capital markets are an important tool in raising funds and if well harnessed have a unique potential to accelerate sustainable economic growth if, if, if uh, needed to broaden prosperity. Similarly, Mr. President, um, deeper and more efficient debt and equity markets provide um, an effective and efficient way of mobilizing domestic resources. Your Excellency, over the past few years, the NSC has made significant investments aimed at enabling us to offer world-class market infrastructure anchored on globally recognized investment products and cutting-edge uh, technology. Today, the NSC is renowned for its state-of-the-art technology and uh, digitized infrastructure. We are actually recognized as the most innovative boss in Africa after Johannesburg. Your Excellency, the capital market is a key source for medium and long-term capital, and given its positioning, we continue to offer fundraising platforms for enterprises, for states, corporations, for government. And following your last visit, we have received increased interest from the corporate sector seeking to raise both debt and equity. We look forward to your government support um, in the listing program and pro uh, aim to provide and aim to provide a matching number of private sector companies. Mr. President, last time you challenged us, you said you'll give us companies from the state. And you said we should also equally work to get private sector companies. Your Excellency would like to take you on, on the offer you made. There are many people here, sir, who own companies, and we'd like to crusade with you to get them to list their companies. I wouldn't mention their names, but I can see DL in the house and many others. We would like them to bring their companies to the market. So, Your Excellency, given the time constraints that we have today, I wouldn't say much more uh, because I've run out of my time, but I want to say two more things. One is global markets are facing a downturn, and Kenya is no exception. Let us take advantage of the low pr prices of stocks in the market today. If Safaricom is trading at below 20, I would like to use this opportunity to encourage you to invest. And secondly, Your Excellency, we want to commit to you that we will support all the initiatives of your government towards making this stock exchange an exchange that you will be proud of. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, Mr. Kiprono Kitoni. With your permission, Your Excellency, sir, next we're going to hear remarks uh, from Jose Akili. Mr. Jose Akili, who is the Managing Director and CEO of CPF. Karibu. <clears throat> Your, Your Excellency, sir, um, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, all protocols have served. I want to appreciate you, sir, for having accepted my inv invitation or our invitation as laptops to come and be our chief guest today. It's not a small thing, considering the heavy workload your office has. But I also want to take this opportunity to thank my staff and the board of lab trust and the entire board of, of, of directors of our institutions who are here. And I would like them just to stand and wave to the, our visitors. Our board members, please. Those are our board members, board of trustees, and our staff. That was there. Um, <clears throat> I also want to ask our service providers who actually made this to event today be a success. And these are the transaction team led by Mr. Chuck, Jack, um, Joe Kihumba of Standard Investment Bank. Can you hold me upstanding so that I can, you can be seen and recognized? The service providers who are part of this process, I think you can see them, Your Excellency. That is um, Madam Asna Mudezi of Mudezi and Company Advocates, Mr. Chakobo Jeng of Orara and Company Advocates, Timothy Wamboi, who, who led the whole team. We have uh, Chokki Humba from SIB, 
Janet Miner from SHB, Hayden Cabrera from Coverity Bank, Elizabeth Njenga from Sterling Capital, uh, Dina Oyuki from my own institution, CPF, Victor Simba from Deloitte and Twitch, and finally, Mayo and Maya, uh, Maya and Company Advocate Structural Engineers, among others. Your Excellency, sir, it's a great honor to have you here at the exchange again on this special occasion as we mark a great milestone for one of the oldest pension funds or schemes in Kenya, Lab Trust. I like this opportunity to recognize the scheme trustees for this great achievement, the inaugural listing of the Lab Trust Imara Hyrid. I thank you, Your Excellency, for your consistent support for the pension industry, particularly after my plea last year, this very occasion, very location during the bell ringing ceremony cut with the Nairobi Securities Exchange, where during my remarks, I stated that, uh, that the pension industry, which is worth over 1.5 trillion shillings, could have built the Kenyan SGR or the Nairobi Expressway if the government had invited or given them a chance to do so. I further requested Your Excellency to give our industry audience to discuss with you these investment opportunities and other areas of investment synergy with your government. I'm glad today to bring back my report card, sir. After having held wide consultations within this industry, culminating with some successful meetings with you at various forum, forums, resting with the last one we had at the College of Insurance. These consultations and the reputation with industry players have been held courtesy of the Association of Pension Trustees and Administrators of Kenya, whom I'm their chairman. The Fund Managers Association, the Custodians Association, among many others who have been part of the journey. And I can confirm that the sector has also identified REITs as the most credible investment grade vehicle to use to invest part of their pension funds. We are hopeful that soon we will be launching the Kenya National REITs after going through the necessary registration and regulatory approvals. That will bring all of us as stakeholders in the, uh, 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 our industry to actually work on serious global perspective REITs. This is therefore a watershed moment for affordable housing in Kenya, sir. And I am honored to be part of this great achievement, Your Excellency, as we strive to support your uh, vision. <laughs> uh, global statistics indicate that risks consistently outperform other asset classes. According to the Risk Association of Kenya, risk performance was um, in, as a, as a as of December 2021, uh, the total returns globally have been more than 20% since the COVID-19 pandemic. In other words, there's been a consistent performance of REITs in the international and global space. Pension funds are uniquely positioned to invest in REITs, which help to unlock liquidity for pension investors who choose to direct their funds to real estate and infrastructure projects built by the developers using funds raised through REITs. Econ and I want to really underscore a local investor in student accommodation and starter homes has demonstrated the success of both development REITs and income REITs, which are listed in this particular exchange or post. With pension funds leveraging their liquidity to drive the affordable housing agenda, I have no doubt that it will become an issue for individuals to secure affordable housing homes and realize their dreams of becoming homeowners. <laughs> Your Excellency, it's important to know that the listing of this historic real estate lab trust in Mara Hyrid will allow investors to explore opportunities directly in a trust invest instrument of world repute. It's only in Kenya that maybe we don't know much about REITs, but internationally, it's a well-known instrument. This is therefore a lucrative opportunity for players in the industry, as pension funds will not only generate attractive returns for their members, but also contribute to the development of affordable housing and have a great social impact in Kenya. This investment can help to bridge the gap between the demand for affordable housing and the limited supply of housing units, thereby enhancing the quality of life of many people. <laughs> we have very many case studies, Your Excellency, 
in South Africa, in UK and other countries where pension funds have actually done so. I wish to challenge other trustees who are members of my association and pension schemes to borrow a leave from lab trust and embrace the global trend of investing in risk as opposed to investing in brick and mortar directly. Let's leave the business of brick and mortar to the developers who are experts in it. Pension funds have traditionally been reluctant to invest in real estate, but with the introduction of innovative assets instruments such as REITs, they can now access the huge potential of a properly property packed investment, which is REITs. Looking at the future, Your Excellency, we need to consider key pointers that will help to boost investment opportunities in Kenya, particularly in the capital markets and financial sector generally. I go, uh, I wish to propose as follows. We request your government to consider to allow a special counter at this particular stock exchange for trading foreign currency denominated REITs in order to attract international investors who are more knowledgeable and have an appetite for REITs and investment trust in REITs. Even as we continue to educate our local investors to understand this opportunity of REITs. We would like to request also, and I think we had made this request to you at the College of Insurance, the urgent formation of a task force to study and possibly recommend a policy and framework for and, lo, and come up with laws on how Kenya can establish a mandatory pension system for all citizens of Kenya, so that this will not only ensure that all citizens have access to a basic pension, it will also ensure a large pool of funds are available for investment into projects such as housing and infrastructure, as happens in other developed countries. Three, consider establishing a pensions council to centrally coordinate pension issues in Kenya. Four, a review of the permitted asset portfolios to enable pension funds, insurance companies, cooperatives, Islamic finance, among others, to invest in alternative asset classes in a more serious manner. Five, we request for your, your government to consider urgently to float a Sukuk bond, which is an Islamic finance product, to attract Islamic financial investors interested in Sharia compliant investment. And I want to challenge your Ministry of Housing to consider to float this particular bond for one of the affordable housing projects they are working on. Your government, finally, to issue a long-term savings bond denominated in a foreign, in foreign currency, targeted at our Kenyans in the diaspora. We want, at a time like this, Your Excellency, we want to draw on your goodwill with our Kenyans in the diaspora. If they could share with us their dollars and their euros and others by being allowed to invest and uh, saving their money in a dollar denominated or foreign currency dominated savings bond by our central bank. This move should not only mop up forex funds back to Kenya for savings and investment, but also assist in lowering interest rates and boosting the bond secondary market at the stock exchange apart from also alleviating the shortage of our foreign currency. As an industry, we look forward to working with your government to realize the country's aspiration as we continue to make progress towards creating sustainable investment opportunities for all. Thank you, and may God bless you, sir. Thank you very much, Mr. Kili. Your Excellency, sir, the next uh, remarks we'd like to hear is from Mr. Tom Mulua. Mr. Tom Mulua is, uh, the, is a council member at uh, the Association of Pension Trustees and Administration of Kenya. Mr. Tom Mulua, karibu sana. Tumpige makofi tafadhali akija pia. Tukim karibisha. Karibu. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. Samoy Ruto, I stand on the established protocols. Your Excellency, on the behalf of the financial services sector led by the pension industry, I also wish to submit our scorecard. Sometime in November last year, Your Excellency, you challenged us to stand to be counted in our economic transformation agenda. On our part, we committed to you to be a catalyst and an enabler to catapult the Kenya to a hyper 
middle income country as envisaged in our man government manifesto. Your Excellency, as of today, four months later, we have, our, we have given ourselves an A minus, which is indeed a very good score for four months. By December 2024, Your Excellency, we believe we shall be A flat and move to our A, a plus in 2024. We have a plan. Your Excellency, as, I've, as you always tell us, we must work with a plan. And I want to take a few minutes to explain to you why we have done well and how we plan to make it better. One, Your Excellency, over the last four months, we have built a consensus across the financial services sector that we shall participate in economic transformation through REITs for affordable housing and invest for the transport, energy, water, and sanitation, ICT, and other related infrastructure. In our conversation with the affordable housing developers, we have established a, the big pain point is demand, or rather offtake, which we are going to intervene through the REITs instrument. Your Excellency, we have built the REITs instrument around your brainchild idea of rent to own, tenant purchase. Technically, we call it IREIT. As we perfect the IREIT, we shall also test the DREIT to boost the supply side and generate the desired momentum in affordable housing development. In simple language, Your Excellency, the REITs involves aggregating all the cash receivables from rent to own and selling them through a REIT instrument to the investors through the Nairobi Securities Exchange. Your Excellency, this initiative would not have been possible without your intervening enablers, including extending land, horizontal infrastructure, tax exemptions on inputs, and execution focus, particularly from the State Department of Urban Housing and Development, which we have complemented with standardization of the development to create an investment grade rate. Meanwhile, Your Excellency, we have a few additional administrative proposals which we, which, which we have put through uh, the State Department of Housing and Development and the State Department of, Invest, uh, of Trade of Investment for fast tracking in the finance bill. We are happy that PCF has taken the lead in validating this solution, Your Excellency. Number two, Your Excellency, in order that we may scale quickly and sustain the risk solution with support of the CMA, we governize the entire capital markets to incorporate the Kenya National REIT. The Kenya National REIT, Your Excellency, is a company limited by guarantee with stakeholders, stakeholders drawn from the entire capital markets ecosystem. This includes the Association of Pension Trustees and Administrators, the Association of Fund Managers, the Association of Investment Bankers and Stock Brokers, the Association of Kenya Property Development of Kenya, the Association of REITs Association of, of Kenya, Cusco, HDC, KDC, Haki, KBA, and all other players in the capital markets. As you've always guided us, we have not left anyone behind, Your, Your Excellency. The state development of investments and the state development of housing uh, and all other financial services regulators including CMA, RBA, IRA, CBK, NSC, are ex officials of the Kenya National REIT, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, the KNR is a private sector initiative to create immediate investor uptake in the capital markets. We shall use the KNR to lead awareness and branding of the legitimacy of REITs as an investment instrument. We shall also use KNR to engage with regulators we shall also use KNR to accredite all the licensed service providers, and we shall also use KNR for research and development, Your Excellency. Our long-term objective of KNR is to be the umbrella REIT aggregator for the private sector and foreign direct investment into Kenya. We wish to use KNR to fund infrastructure in transport, energy, water and sanitation, ICT, and affordable housing. We shall also use it for forestry, Your Excellency. The, guiding and the guidance and support from CMA and the National Securities Exchange, and the Nairobi Securities Exchange, RBA, and all other regulators towards the creation of KNR, Your Excellency, has been incredible. 
We appoint your excellency to be the Africa Financial Services Center. When you met the pension trustees in December last year at the College of Insurance, the conversation from the trustees was about return, but even as we look for decent returns, we have agreed to invest for impact. We have agreed affordable housing will not only give dignity to Kenyans, but the back and forward leakages will generate invaluable economic value. Indeed, CS Zakaria Jeru and PS uh, uh, Charles Hinga have indicated to us for every house built, we shall generate nine jobs. So if we fill the 2,000 through 100,000 gap of housing in Kenya, we are talking about 1.8 million jobs in one year. That is 9 million jobs in five years, Your Excellency. We are aware the international investors want to see our skin in the game. Our commitment to REITs and INVITs demonstrate our skin in the game and will attract FDI to match our investments in our markets. That is why we are, take, we are talking about Kenya shillings 5 billion in year one, graduating it to 1.5 billion in the fifth year, Your Excellency. We have agreed that the sustainable solution to fund our economic transformation is through capital markets. Indeed, Your Excellency, it is, it is the surest way to stabilize the interest rates and the cost of money. The pension, and circle, the pension industry, the circle industry, receives new contributions on a monthly basis from members. Banks, too, receive new deposits on a daily basis. The, pen, the pension money is long-term and, and, and can be deployed for impact in the capital markets through such bankable instruments to support our economic transformation. It is not true when we deploy our investments in the capital markets that we, are, we shall resort in underinvestment in the government securities. Your Excellency, we tend to differ with some of, our, some of our bilateral partners that capital markets instruments cannot find off-balance sheet solution to our roads, water, energy, and other pressing bills. If we can fund the outstanding bills through our capital markets, the trickle-down effect will reject the economy immediately. Finally, Your Excellency, we have agreed on social bonds to fund our education and health agenda. The, the capital markets presents a solid corporate co governance environment for social investors in support of our education and health sectors. We should not look very far. The solution is here with us. Your Excellency, as I finish, we say all this knowing very well that you will not accept anything less than A+. Plus. From us, this is... This, to this end, we have a pipeline of REITs, and we shall kindly invite you in a few months to launch them as we submit our improved scorecard. Asante sana, God bless Kenya and our leadership. Thank you very much, sir. Next, um, we'll have Mr. Kenneth Lusa, Chairman KPDA. I request that we just stick to the agreed time. And KPDA is Kenya Property Developers Association. Karibu. His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samuel Ruto, distinguished guests, all protocols observed, good morning. It is a pleasure to be here today to represent the property sector as the Chairman of the Kenya Property Developers Association, the KPDA. We are excited about the launch of the LAP Trust Imara REIT, the first REIT in Kenya promoted by a pension fund. REITs are the intersection of institutional real estate and capital. Without real estate, there would be no REITs, and without capital, there would be no REITs. It is a partnership. At the heart of that partnership here in Kenya is the partnership between institutions, and the KPDA is the partner for institutional real estate. The KPDA works across the real estate sector, and we are happy here today to pledge our support for REITs and indeed institutional real estate. It is estimated that the REIT sector could grow up to 1.5 to 2 trillion shillings over the next 10 to 15 years. That level of capital mobilization could create over 12 million square meters of new real estate and create millions of jobs. The real estate sector is one of the largest urban employment sectors in Kenya, and REITs can help provide even more jobs to city dwellers. 
I am no stranger to reach myself, Your Excellency, as a motion ex executive director at ACON, the promoter behind the ACON student housing REIT, focused on purpose-built student accommodation launched in 2021, and I'm joined here today by my co-director, Mr. Edward Kirade, who's somewhere here. Real estate development for REITs is something that we will require work. We at KPDA are working on a capacity building program for developers and the construction sector players to design and build housing for REITs. The program focuses on more efficient building designs to lower costs, the documentation required for institutional off-takers, environmental sustainability, and corporate governance, as well as efficient construction technology and management. The Capacity Building Program partners with the REIT Toolkit and Incubator Program housed at the REITs Association of Kenya, RIK, and Nairobi Stock Exchange. The toolkit works to reduce the time and cost to launch a new REIT, and the incubator provides a supportive environment for the new REIT promoters to develop and launch new REITs. The sector also requires fiscal incentives to make the economics work. The government will need to ensure incentives are working, processed quickly, and able to handle the scale of applications that will be coming through. At KPDA, we have a program that partners with the State Department of Housing to quickly process affordable housing incentives, and we are currently working with over 50 housing projects in the pipeline that we are mobilizing to obtain housing incentives. In addition to sector programs, there are several public sector challenges that affect the development of housing and real estate at scale. The first challenge is the insufficient infrastructure in urban areas and, areas and cities. The infrastructure in Nairobi and other rapidly growing cities in Kenya has not kept up with urbanization and intensification, putting a strain on infrastructure services like water, sewage, and traffic. We need continued investment in modern and sustainable infrastructure to keep up with urbanization. We also need to see better training of county staff to design cities of the future and innovative financing products like PPPs and municipal taxation to mobilize capital for infrastructure. In conclusion, Your Excellency, the, ben the benefits of streamlining the housing and real estate sectors are clear. Millions of jobs, billions in tax revenues, and trillions in economic flows through the economy. It will require collaboration between public, private, and capital sectors to make work. The KPDA is here to partner with the relevant institutions to do our part for the betterment of the sector and for all Kenyans. Thank you for the opportunity to speak at this auspicious occasion, and we wish the Laptas Timara Reed the very best. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Mr. Nelson Harvey, Chairman RBA. Karibu. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, invited guests, friends, and stakeholders in this industry, I greet you all good morning. Today is a great day, and uh, let me take this opportunity as uh, the Chair of RBA to present to you, Your Excellency, the confirmation that the report card that has been given by Lab Trust, APTAC, and uh, NSC is genuine and correct. As the regulator, we have provided the necessary framework to ensure that the vision and uh, the, the aim and goals that are pursued in the pension industry are attained. May I take this opportunity to thank Lab Trust for taking the initiative to lead and to provide the most intended and viable solution in unlocking a sector that has remained stagnant for a long period of time. This initiative will go a long way in providing liquidity that is much needed when a pensioner requires his or her payment. Now, to the other players in the industry, please accept the clarion call from Lab Trust. Let Lab Trust not play alone in this industry. We need competition so that we can ascertain whether the product in the market is viable and also for us as the regulator to have a panoramic view upon which to continue providing that environment for you to benefit from the pension fund. Lastly, may I ask for the impetus that uh, is now in place towards ensuring that this rate is also adopted in the affordable housing is not lost. Much effort has been put in place and it is our expectation 
that will come to fruition sooner than later. Your Excellency and the stakeholders in this industry, may I commit the assurance of the regulatory authority in this industry that will continue providing the necessary enabling and regulatory framework to ensure that investments in this sector are undertaken for the best benefit of the people of Kenya. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Mr. Nelson Harvey. Last speech before we go to the main thing or the main part of the event, we have Mr. August Mohammed, Chairman of Capital Markets Authority. Welcome. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, uh, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, uh, CSS President, PSS President, industry players, elected leaders, industry leaders, good morning. All protocols observed. Um, I'm delighted to be part of today's session as we mark the listing and introduction of the Lab Trust Imara Income Rit on the NSC. This real estate investment trust is the first one to be issued by a pension scheme. Uh, for, me, for, for this, allow me to thank the trustees of Lab Trust, its members, administrators, and CPF Financial Services. Ladies and gentlemen, let me also take this opportunity to thank His Excellency the President for appointing me as the chairman of the CMA. Um, I'd like to give my commitment as well, and that of the Capital Markets Authority, to support the government's agenda to revitalize the capital markets. Upscaling of real estate uh, investment trust rates as a capital markets product is quite timely as the product can unlock the potential, as many, many have said. Uh, one of the key advantages of the REITs is that they offer investors an opportunity to invest in the real estate market without owning and managing physical properties. Uh, this makes investing in real estate much more accessible to a wider pool of investors, including those who may not have had uh, who may not have capital or ex expertise to invest in physical properties. This is an ideal investment vehicle for Mamamboga, border border communities, as the investment threshold can be as low as 500 shillings. REITs offer investors a potential for good returns, as has been said. The investments in REITs, uh, uh, by investing in REITs, investors can gain exposure to a diversified portfolio of properties across distinct locations and sectors. This helps spread risks and can lead to more stable returns over a long time. I wish to thank the president and the government for consistently showing support for the development of the capital markets industry. Your Excellency, as has been said by other uh, partner regulators here, I want to promise you that as an industry we have taken your challenge, as you've done when you were here last time, and you shall be seeing the fruits of our efforts going into the future. And towards this effort, the industry would like at some point to submit a Marshall Plan on the revitalization and transformation of the capital markets of Kenya on behalf of the Capital Markets Fraternity. This report will highlight the key focus areas, challenges, as well as proposed solutions and action points. I'd like to thank you. Thank you very much. And now, Your Excellency, sir, with your permission, would like to now go to the official bell ringing, which is the like uh, the main part of this particular occasion. And at this point, I would like to invite the CEO, NSC, Geoffrey Odundo, who's going to guide us on how we're going to go about this. So welcome, Mr. Geoffrey Odundo, to guide His Excellency. And also uh, to invite the following to just join His Excellency as we do this. We have um, um, Mr. Kiprono Kitoni. We also have uh, Mr. Jose Akili, uh, Ugas Mohamed, and Aida Kimemia, Job Kihumba to just join us here as we now take this to the next level. Welcome. Let's also have the CSS present to also join us. Welcome. Okay. Excellency, we now need you on the stage. <laughs> so we're going to have a countdown. 
to inaugurate the Love Trust I, uh, MRF, uh, I read, and we're going to have a small video, so maybe we could turn our attention to the screen where the countdown is going to happen. Thank you. Excellency, you rang it like a school prefect. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, Your Excellency, we'll now take some photographs at this stage. And then we'll move on to the trading desk to witness the first trade of the Irit. Photos? Yes. So if we can just have all those on stage to just take a photo. Then from there, Your Excellency, sir, with your permission, proceed to the trading desk to see uh, or to witness the first trading that's already happening or well, that's going to be happening before then we go to the next part of the program. I think we are good with the photos, so we may proceed to the trading desk, where we have the live trading. I'm going to then uh, put through the market. So we have uh, orders from a buyer and a seller. So um, we start with the price. Mm -hmm. And then the units we are trading are 250,000. And then we put the client details. Um, the CDS account number the client is there so we push the buyer to the market as you can see yeah. and then now we come to the seller uh, since they have agreed on the price which is 20 shillings we put the price again and the units that we're trading and then now we put the account for the seller we push this to market it has traded so I'll just show you where uh, we record the trade um, it has moved up uh, because once we have a trade it will join the other counters that have already traded so as you can see we've done 250,000 mm -hmm. of, of the unit at 20 shillings. Okay. Yeah. So that is a successful trade. Very good. Yes. <laughs> so, so we have a strike price of uh, 20, yeah? Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. And we now would like to invite the CS uh, Housing uh, to come and just make a few remarks, then in turn, invite the CS uh, Treasury, who will in turn invite His Excellency the President. To begin, Makofi Tafadali Akija. Karibu sana, CS. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, my colleague, uh, Cabinet Secretary, Treasury, Elected leaders, present, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to join you on this auspicious occasion as we celebrate the local authorities pension trust, Imara uh, I rates, as they mark the important milestone of trading on the national security uh, exchange. <clears throat> 
this event wouldn't have come at a better time. As you are aware, the affordable housing program is designed to provide decent, accessible, yet affordable housing for all Kenyans, especially those living in informal settlements. And the government has made tremendous progress in the achievement of the 200,000 housing units annually. <clears throat> the 2010 Constitution emphasizes the right for every person to accessible and adequate housing and reasonable standards of sanitation. And we are committed to delivering on the Kenyan Kwanzaa Manifesto commitment to affordable housing for all Kenyans. Your Excellency, the government is partnering with the private sector on the delivery of affordable housing, which has become an attractive investment opportunity uh, through the provision of land countrywide, tax incentives such as VAT exemptions and preferential corporate tax, and the aggregation and financing of buyers via the Bomayangu platform and the Kenya Mortgage Refinance Company. Your Excellency, the Ministry recognizes that the Real Estate Investment Trust structure is an ideal fit not only to raise considerable finances for development, but also to support the rent to own, that is the tenant purchase scheme, home ownership model for Kenyans at long-term affordable rates. The REITs structure is also suitable for the financing and delivery of much needed affordable student housing for our universities countrywide and institutional housing for our police and defense forces. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, the private sector investment in affordable housing is return driven and can be supported ably by capital market instruments like REITs and green bonds which provide the investment liquidity required. Through the capital market, local private sector investors can participate in affordable housing and this participation will catalyze further interest from international investors. The Ministry through the State Department for Housing and Urban Development has been a key driver of the REITs discussion and has been working closely with the Capital Markets Authority and Nairobi Securities Exchange on the development of innovative investment products to support affordable housing. We have also engaged local pension funds to participate in the affordable housing program to help unlock value from their illiquid land assets and through the program and the capital market, they can convert underutilized land into profitable cash generating developments. Success, we have recently engaged a panel of financial experts and transaction advisors to develop these REITs and other innovative financing instruments to successfully bring together viable investment opportunities with the country's development agenda. Your Excellency, once again, I want to thank you for joining us during this occasion and thank you for your continued support for the affordable housing program. Thank you very much. And now I would want to invite my colleague, uh, CS Treasury, to come also and give his remarks. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samoy Ruto. I think I want to observe all the protocols. I'm very happy that I'm seeing all the market players, people I've worked with, people who have uh, given me ideas. So I'm very encouraged to be here. And uh, I, call it, I give it, or describe it as a distinct pleasure and privilege to be here to actually witness this occasion. I'm very happy that uh, Lab Trust, Imara Real, Investment, Real Estate Investment Trust, is actually uh, going to be listed and ring the bell right now because it gives us quite a dimension in terms of what we think about. And I was trying to look at the speech. I, I was actually asking myself, Real Estate Investment Trust is actually signaling a fixed investment. It's actually telling us behind those units that are going to be traded 
there is a long-term investment, and that is a signaling for the future. It gives me great pressure that this is coming through. Your Excellency, the RAP trust in Mara rate is restricted cross-ended cross real estate investment uh, trust that will be accommodated under the restricted segment of the main investment market of the Nairobi Securities Exchange. The, Na the National Treasury appreciates that this cross-ended fund will enable Kenyans wishing to invest in Lab Trust, Imara, Real Estate Investment uh, Trust to effect such investment by purchasing rate securities in the secondary market. And of course, the vibrancy of that market is actually the multiplicity of what can be traded, the diversity of the products that are to be found in the market. And the National Treasury further appreciates that owing to the restricted nature of the, uh, the, the Real Estate Investment Trust, the Lab Trust, and that is the promoter, has committed to maintain 100% ownership of the rate securities for a period of three years after, after the listing uh, date. For us, then it means that it gives us some diversity and confidence that the market will continue to function and ex exceptionally well. Your Excellency, we acknowledge that growth in the real estate investment will, will, will be supported in a big way when the government, has, when the government prioritizes affordable housing agenda. And for us, this is very, very, very important because it's a major and a key component of uh, Kenya Kwanza Manifesto and the bottom-up economic transformation agenda. Housing construction is important in inducing vibrancy in economic activities across all other sectors and create jobs at all levels. Ladies and gentlemen, His Excellency the President has reiterated that the cost of housing is a heavy burden to the majority of the Kenyans. And it's a major factor driving the proliferation of, of slums or the development of slums. The government is committed to make housing more affordable to enable more Kenyans to live in safe, dignified, dignified homes, but on, and more importantly, create jobs and also allow room for et entrepreneurships given the diverse opportunities. We believe that investing in credible income generating assets is key to building long-term wealth. And Lapset, uh, and Lapset Imara rate is very, very important, and even Lab Trust in terms of this new product because they are going to be regulated by the Capital Markets Authority, but more important, when they are regulated, they give confidence in terms of the market and even how they trade. And commencing trading in the securities exchange is a major signaling event that will ensure that the investment opportunities of us returns, and those returns can be tracked through the, the securities, the Nairobi securities market. And of course, if those securities can be tracked, it means that dividends will flow. Ladies and gentlemen, the government appreciates the financial institutions in Kenya that are now relooking at their role in housing sector, especially the real estate financing. This is a sector that is waiting to be discovered. This is a sector that provides adequate, ad adequate opportunities, but also more important long-term re returns. We do appreciate that ADA, this real estate investment trust, the Cooperative Bank of Kenya, has been identified as the trustee, which in, 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 a, in essence is going to be a very solid partner and trustee. Banks now are actually coming up with fresh, flexible options to cater for the rising housing needs, which cut across income cohorts. But we do believe that across all income cohorts, there is where returns and even vibrancy of investment is much appreciated. And we do need to discover this. For me, that is going to be very, very important to enhance and drive the investment in this area. Lastly, let me reiterate from the onset that the National Treasury believes the, that the, the, intervention the, government, the interventions the government will provide and the partnership with key players like Lab Trust, Imara Raid, the challenges like high interest rate, mismatch between short-term nature of deposits and the long-term nature of mortgage real estate lending can be addressed. And having the Nairobi Securities Exchange, uh, uh, exchange working efficiently, it gives us great pressure to actually see that you can actually s solve 
the mismatch and even uh, reiterate or reintroduce new and diverse uh, products. Let me uh, say, ladies and gentlemen, that it is a gracious opportunity for us all to witness this. And it gives me singular honor to invite His Excellency the President of the Republic of Kenya and the, Com and the Commander of Chief on the, of Defense Forces, His Excellency Dr. William Samoy Ruto, to address this group of investors. And thereafter, of course, he has rung the bell. I was actually given to understand that he would ring the bell after he has spoken. But the most important thing is that by the time he finishes his speech, we'll see how the trading is going on. But I do believe this is going to be a very important event. It is a starting point in terms of the vibrancy of this market. Your Excellency, welcome. Thank you very much. Let's take our seats. Thank you. Um, thank you very much, uh, Minister, and uh, all the other speakers. Maybe it is a good moment to apologize to the ladies, because um, all the speakers who've uh, spoken before me somebody watching from somewhere, they will think this is a men's conference. <laughs> uh, maybe Mr. Keeley and uh, the other people next time, uh, let's be kinder to the ladies. Otherwise, we run the risk of being unconstitutional. Um, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, uh, good morning. It is yet another wonderful occasion to join Kenya's capital markets fraternity in celebrating an exceptional milestone. We are here today to witness the listing by introduction of the first real estate investment trust instrument to be issued by a pension scheme. This momentous listing signifies the evolution of our capital markets, which have consistently shown resilience in the face of challenging local and global financial developments, as well as responsiveness to the needs of a market that gets increasingly complex and sophisticated with each passing day. Our capital market's capacity to evolve on a sustainable, continuing basis is therefore a critical pillar of our competitiveness as an economy and it is also a fundamental factor of our ability to finance development, thereby creating jobs and alleviating uh, poverty. Today's introduction of the Love Trust Imara Real Estate Investment Trust is the culmination of commendable collaboration among industry stakeholders in pursuit of innovative instruments that enhance the credibility, competitiveness, liquidity, and efficiency of our capital markets. To place this event in context, it is important to appreciate the role of a well-developed financial sector in powering national economic development. The presence of deep and efficient markets is a fundamental precondition for further economic growth. Kenya's financial sector is strong, competitive, and I say vibrant as well. A debt and equity market like ours has been effective in mobilizing domestic as well as international capital, thereby complementing other forms of financing, fostering the national, the rational embrace of element of risk inherent in new, innovative and pioneering enterprises and supporting long-term investment. The government is committed to expanding opportunities for both investors and issuers in Kenya. We are motivated in this quest by a number of compelling reasons. First of all, as I observed last week during the unveiling of the State Department of Investment Promotion and an unveiling of the National Investment Council, there is urgent need to reverse our negative post-pandemic foreign direct investment outlook which has seen Kenya stand out as the only region, regional economy 
that is not experiencing significant growth in foreign direct investment flows. It is our firm agenda to turn the situation around and take aggressive measures to return our economy as a leading destination for international investments. Secondly, I also indicated during my visit to the Nairobi Securities Exchange for the launch of the marketplace that it is imperative for our capital markets to devise appropriate mechanisms that leverage the savings component of all funds, including Hustler Fund, Diaspora Remittances, Bank Deposits, Capital Markets, circles, Insurance Plans, Savings Held in FinTech and other assets to provide a sustainable critical mass of capital to finance the transformation of our country. For sustainability, these mechanisms must be affordable to borrowers while giving an attractive return to savers. And I am persuaded that our capital markets can offer reliable alternative funding for all categories and sizes of business, which is also responsive to their long-term strategic intentions. This is how, by saving, Kenyans at the bottom of the economic pyramid can become lenders and investors who finance national development and economic growth. Thirdly, I have been to various parts of the country spreading the transformational footprint of our affordable housing program. It is our intention to increase the availability of cheap and safe houses as, so as to plug the housing deficit, which currently stands at about 5 million uh, units. The execution will combine efficient building and construction, consumption of local materials and locally manufactured accessories and fixtures, and the employment of hundreds of thousands of both skilled and unskilled workers. Just to put it in context, um, we managed to unravel this whole sector about real estate, which was for a very long time hostage to high-end uh, development of uh, housing units. In fact, um, of the 50,000 units that were built every year, you could hardly get 2% uh, of it being affordable. We decided to intentionally and deliberately uh, desegregate the, uh, the housing sector and the biggest component that always impeded the development of not just affordable housing, but housing in general, was the cost of land. In fact, it contributed maybe up to anywhere between 20 and 30 percent of the cost of a house. We have since, as a government, made land for construction of houses free. And I want to congratulate many counties that have made close to 4,000 acres of land in uh, very prime land in many parts of our towns, uh, towns across Kenya, worth anywhere between uh, 20 and 30 billion Kenya shillings. That's the land that currently is available for housing that you don't have to pay for. We also um, sorted out one more problem. Everybody was building a designer house. And you know what designer means. So to be able to build houses on scale, it became necessary to standardize um, all the aggregates of what uh, builds up to a house. Standardized doors, standardized windows, standardized all the components of a house. And today, I can tell the private sector proudly that we have standardized do all doors for all affordable housing units. We have standardized all windows, hinges, and all the other components. And in our plan of 200,000 houses, what that means is that we, the private sector, 
um, the cement man, uh, manufacturers, the steel manufacturers, the um, people involved in uh, housing, producing housing uh, products. You now have a clear path on what you can um, build your business towards. In our housing plan of 200,000 houses every year, our cement manufacturers, you now have 20 million bags of cement that we can consume, 10 million tons of steel, 2 million tons of nails, 1 million doors, standardized doors, so you can produce in scale because we will consume 3 million uh, uh, pieces of uh, windows. So those listening to me can begin to formulate their business and go into production because we will consume these units. So, and the reason is that once we desegregate and we standardize, we can mass produce these products. Mass production reduces the cost of, um, of, of production and uh, the availability of these units. And that is the whole essence behind um, what we are doing in our housing space. Uh, that, of course, has other attendant. Uh, one final thing we decided to resolve using the housing fund, and hopefully this REITs and all the other uh, REITs that will come after this, and we have encouraged our pension schemes to come on board, is the offtake plan. So if we sort out the land for construction, we also um, make the housing development itself competitive by producing in mass and in scale. And we provide an offtake plan that is sensitive to low income uh, Kenyans. Then we have sorted out the whole housing jigsaw and we can go into production. And that is what the government of Kenya is offering. Uh, we are already doing the units in 11 counties. We have advertised uh, by um, 30th of this month another uh, seven counties. And we are on course to ensuring that we not only meet the 200,000 housing units, but we surpass it. And therefore, I am challenging our pension schemes to step up and provide the offtake. I know um, a fund manager is looking at a treasury bond, and uh, that gives him a fair return. I want to encourage you that you will not only get a fair return by investing in our housing scheme, but you will have big impact. You can look at a house and you can proudly say, I supported Kenya a Kenyan to have a roof over their heads. So I think it, is, it, will be, it will be a double win. We look to the capital markets as the principal source of the funds for the affordable housing program as well as development pillar of our transformational agenda. In particular, the investors participating in the public-private partnership that will become the favored delivery mechanism which will benefit tremendously from affordable capital sourced in liquid and efficient capital markets. Further, beyond PPPs, the government is committed to the expeditious divestiture of government interest in various entities across several sectors through privatization. We expect the capital markets to rise to the occasion and mobilize capital and give the taxpayers excellent value. Again, as I made a commitment when I came to um, this stock exchange, this securities exchange uh, last year, I made a commitment that government is going to divest so that we can democratize our wealth and allow more Kenyans to own a piece of uh, what is Kenya, and especially entities that are currently Kenyan-owned. Uh, um, when we went to run without exercise, we found that the law that existed had, was actually the biggest impediment to any 
um, privatization. It's a law that has been there for the last almost 15 years, and it has made it impossible for any divestiture to happen and for any democratization of what is owned by government to be undertaken. Yesterday in cabinet, we approved a new law that will provide mechanisms for Kenyans to own part of what is Kenya. And I am looking forward to the Nairobi Stock Exchange, to the Securities Exchange here, to provide the necessary capital for Kenyans to buy into uh, these entities. Additionally, it is of particular importance for me to emphasize our strong expectation that Kenya's capital markets can and must be revitalized by enlisting the participation of micro, small, and medium enterprises, as well as the large multinational companies that have set up business operations in Kenya. Listing these vital actors will deepen and invigorate the capital markets considerably. I am looking forward to days in the very near future when we will be reporting every Monday and every Thursday to be the days that were traded highest in the Nairobi Stock Exchange. My second visit to the Securities Exchange today underscores the understanding that as a strategic actor in the economy, the capital markets fraternity is going to play a central role in supporting our economic recovery in the short term and national socioeconomic transformation in the long term. With its impressive diversified product offering, I am confident that the NSC can facilitate investors to construct strong portfolios across a broad range of globally attractive investment products. Like other developed markets, our capital markets now offer quasi as well as advanced products, including real estate investment trusts, exchange-traded exchange funds, and derivatives. Besides, I am encouraged to note that the NSC has invested in world-class infrastructure to enable it separate trading from post-trading activities. As a result, a platform for novel products like day trading activities has emerged. Additionally, this infrastructure provided much needed resilience which enabled the NSC to weather the disruptions occasioned by the COVID-19 pandemic. It is clear, therefore, that the NSC is the ideal institution to power our economic resurgence and finance our national socioeconomic transformation. It is also clear that the NSC has invested intentionally to position itself as the most attractive hub of highly attractive local, regional, and international market activity. It is ready. From where I stand, it is ready, capable, and aligned. Any entity wishing to list an offering will do well to make the NSC its first, maybe best, maybe only choice. This is what CPF financial services have done with these inaugural rates, and the reasons are abundantly clear. I commend the CPF services for delivering or developing a product that astutely aligns the interests of their investors with our transformational agenda in a highly rewarding sector. This kind of visionary problem solving strategic imagination is needed to usher our capital markets and economy back to its traditional pioneering place. At this point, I wish to emphasize the government's commitment to sound, consistent, stable, and predictable investor protection mechanism consisting of an impartial and transparent regulatory framework. We shall not compromise on our quest to establish and maintain a standard of leadership, governance, and management in our capital markets that inspires the confidence of international capital markets actors and investors in order to reverse our recent negative uh, performance. It is our intention to give comfort to local and international investors 
through credible and effective institutions and reactivate our dormant central depository investor accounts. And let me say here that uh, something that was raised by members of the uh, Nairobi Securities Exchange uh, about the availability of uh, all the dollar constraints, not just in our economy, but globally. That as a government, we have uh, made uh, innovative intentions and undertaken uh, innovative uh, strategy to ensure that we ease the burden of uh, availability of dollar in our market. Um, we just concluded last week um, a, a, an arrangement, a market-driven arrangement in our fuel sector that will see Kenya access all our fuel uh, needs on a deferred six-month credit. That will that will eliminate a demand of $500 million every month from this market. And therefore, uh, for the people who work numbers, I am giving you free advice that those of you who are holding dollars, you surely might go into losses. <laughs> you better, you better uh, do what you must do, because uh, this market is going to be different in a couple of weeks. And uh, secondly, uh, we, through the central bank, we are having conversations to reinstate the interbank exchange uh, market that has since uh, not worked. And I am happy that the players in that sector, including our banks, are coming forward and they are participating and uh, they are working with the central bank so that we can again uh, take charge of our market and that it is not allowed to be distorted by uh, brokers. I'm told the only place where brokers are accepted is at the exchange. <laughs> Anywhere else, they are banned. Uh, and so I just want to assure uh, those uh, in Kenya who uh, were facing uh, challenges of access to dollars, that we have taken uh, steps to ensure that uh, dollar availability in the next couple of weeks is going to be very different because our fuel companies and, uh, will now be paying for fuel in Kenya shillings. They do not have to look for dollars every month because we have uh, done what we must do as government to ensure that we ease the burden on people who want to um, uh, uh, realize their returns in dollars. And uh, I was being told by the chairman of NSC, so Mr. Chairman, you have nothing to worry about. We have taken adequate steps to make sure that uh, that is sorted. <laughs> Let me also confirm to you that um, uh, the Government of Kenya, as I made a commitment, we are going to be listing public-owned entities uh, uh, shortly. And uh, I, I, I like the fact that you have said you are ready to take me on. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, let, let's see. So um, I, 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 I never lose sight of, uh, of this contest because in uh, my desk, right in front of my desk, is the, is the bull and the bell you gave me when I came here the <laughs> last time. I also want to give you my commitment that the business and investment environment in Kenya is secure and conducive on a sustainable basis. Through the rule of law, the government will take robust measures to honor and respect the rights of all and measures uh, and demonstrate, uh, let me take that again. I also want to give you my commitment that the business and investment environment in Kenya is secure and conducive on a continuous basis. Through the rule of law, the government will take robust measures to honor and respect the rights of all and demonstrate that no one is above the law by decisively combating impunity, lawlessness, and disorder. We have a duty 
to ensure that every worker and every hustler from Mamamboga, MSME, to the global multinational corporation operating in Kenya enjoy a conducive environment to pursue their goals unhindered. There is no reason whatsoever for anyone to stand in the way of free enterprise, disrupt business, or sabotage economic activity, or work as economic terrorists for personal selfish interest. Such impunity must be dealt with firmly and full accountability enforced to vindicate Kenya's commitment as a free market economy. Once again, I congratulate Lab Trust and CPF Financial Services for this outstanding achievement. And now to declare the Lapstop Imara is officially listed. The Lapstop Imara IRITS is officially listed by introduction on the main investment market segment of the Nairobi Securities Exchange. Congratulations. God bless you. And God bless Kenya. Asante sana. One, one. Let us uh, give His Excellency one more round of applause. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. And with your permission, sir, uh, CPF Lab Trust had a gift that they had prepared for you, so I'll invite Mr. Kili to just come and present.